Hello, my friends. We've been working on a new instructional design community platform to make it easier for IDs to network and connect and grow together. Uh, so I'm excited to share what's been going on with that. And I'm also going to share a bit about my experience with the ID community over the last five years or so. So stay tuned and we'll dive right into it. So back in 2017, when I was still a college student, I found out about instructional design and I pretty quickly set some grand goals. So I saw that it aligned with my interests pretty well, but I didn't want to just work a corporate job. I wanted to work from my laptop while sitting on a train traveling Europe, and I wanted to be able to afford to travel and also have the freedom to, to travel. So I wanted to like build my own uh, freelance business and work for clients. Um, that goal seemed kind of impossible when I first thought it up when I'm, you know, in my early 20s. Uh, it seemed too good to be true almost, but I, I started asking questions on instructional design community forums and platforms and social media. I started emailing people who are creating content to help new and aspiring instructional designers. And within a year from that, I was a, I was freelancing full time. I finished up my master's program in Europe uh, while, while doing some backpacking and traveling. So when I say the instructional design community made my dreams come true, I mean, it doesn't even stop there. Like that dream was big, but now to be able to serve the community full time and, and work with you all on a daily basis, the community has done more for me than I possibly could have imagined. And it also makes it really, really exciting to be able to give back to the community and do for the community. Uh, it kind of goes hand in hand, right? And, I, and I've seen this story play out. Like it feels like hundreds of times now in the community, the people who I, who I see contributing and giving back are the people who are just getting help a few months before that. And when they do give back, it, it just leads to more opportunities and more exposure and more, yeah, more goodwill and like good karma, if you want to call it that for them. So I love this community. Like it seems like most people I talk to have that attitude where they got a lot of help coming into the field and now they're giving a lot of help and it, it leads to goodwill all around. Like everybody wins when we're all helping each other. So that is why I've, I've been so invested and been uh, having such a good time helping foster this community and creating content for this community just because it feels like we do have something very special here. And a lot of people who come in from other fields and they say, um, that seems to be one of the first things that stands out to people is, wow, why is everyone so supportive of one another? Like, I'm not used to this. This is kind of weird. It feels like everyone I'm talking to generally, like genuinely has my best interest at heart. So we do have something special here. I want, I hope we can preserve this. I mean, our field is clearly growing quickly, but it seems like the people who do join, like do have the right attitude and do really want to help and want to give back uh, the help they, they get. So all of that to say, we have a new community space and it's beyond text-based communication now. So the new community space uh, fosters like real time, kind of like a Zoom call, so like audio visual communication so that we can hear each other's voices and see each other's faces and connect a bit more deeply. Um, we still have the Slack channel. We still have LinkedIn, YouTube comments, uh, you know, direct message and email. Like we still have all of those text-based platforms, but there is kind of a magic that comes with being together live in the same space, you know, not physically, um, but, it, but it's almost as close as we can get uh, it's, it's definitely more present, more of a, yeah, it's more of a present connection than if we were simply, um, texting. So that's what, that's why I really like this new community space. I do have some slides just to kind of let you know what to expect. And some of you, I also should say some of you have been in the new community space, but we're still in the early days. So, so keep watching because I want to just like let you in on the vision for this community space. And I, I hope that you can get as excited about it as I am. So Again, yeah, I want to, you know, I, I tell my story and I mention that because I do hope that we can keep this positivity and this, this, um, supportive nature, like in this community. Um, so we want to help each other achieve our goals, right? We don't want to go in there and just try to take, take, take. We, we want to go in there to give and take equally. So this is a place to connect in real time, to see each other's faces and hear each other's voices. Again, that's what sets this apart from platforms like Slack or LinkedIn or, or even YouTube. I mean, this is kind of one way, but I want to hear, hear and see you all as well. 
And this, this space is by the community and for the community. I say that because it's not just going to be Devlin going live every week, talking to you all and looking at the chat. We are partnering with other instructional design creators. We're, we're partnering with instructional design communities, and they're going to be leading weekly events in this new community space. Um, I've also hired a couple of employees who are going to be running weekly events like a book club and storyline workshops. And I'll, I'll show you what we have in store in just a minute. I'm kind of excited to get there. But, but this community space is open 24 seven. We do have discussion tables where you could go there right now. You could hop in a room and sit at one of those tables and, and connect with other instructional designers if they're in there at the same time. So again, we're still early days. Like I still, we, we still need to ramp up the scheduling, but like my vision or my goal with this is to be able to bring you all daily programming where no matter what time zone you're in, if you want to attend a live session or you want to connect with other instructional designers in real time, you can hop into this space and there's going to be something going on and there are going to be people there who can talk through things with you and support you. And this is all completely free. Like this community space is free. It's not, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an, it's an investment to be able to create the space, but, um, it will be it will be worth it if we can make good use of it for sure. So, so here are some of the events I have in mind. And if you have other ideas, please let me know in the comments what would be valuable to you. But let's dive into it. So workshops to help you learn e-learning authoring tools. Of course, uh, one of the biggest uh, skill gaps people have coming into the field and even landing roles is the tech side. Um, Q and A's with industry guests. Nothing new for you all there. We're doing that this week. We do that many of the weeks. Um, speed networking and discussion tables. So these are some cool features of this community platform that, that let us go here just for these like serendipitous, spontaneous connections. Um, some of you have done speed networking or, or participated in these discussion tables with us already, but we're going to start having weekly programming with these kind of, um, with these kind of sessions. So there will definitely be opportunities to connect. I'm also just going to do some casual Q and A's and working sessions. So I have like some project ideas I want to work through with the community. So I may schedule just a recurring time slot, like every Saturday or something where we can all come together live and then we can build a project together week after week. Um, and then, yeah, it will be pretty casual. And then I'll, I'll just book out time as well to do a Q and A with Devlin or just to hang out with Devlin and we can just chat about anything instructional design related. Um, also community led study sessions. So there are a lot of us here in the community who have similar goals, who are studying the same content, working on similar projects. So I guess the idea is we'll, we'll help bring people together who are all, all at a specific part of the process, whether you're trying to become an ID or you've been an ID for years and you can connect with peers and work through some of those tough problems together. So a lot of potential there. And then also friendly competitions and giveaways. So Again, yeah, we have we have storyline licenses to give away, thinking about other software to give away as well and, and other things that you all would find valuable just to, again, help give back to the community in another way. And then also friendly competitions just to help quiz quiz, basically uh, ID, ID trivia. You can think of it as and I think there's a lot of different ways we could take those those pieces. So these are the ideas we have so far. Um, yeah, if you have any other ideas, let me know in the comments. Again, like I said, there are other creators and other communities who will also be doing stuff in this space. We want to make it just an easy one-stop shop ID community space where you can uh, you can learn, you can network, you connect. Um, and we'll, again, hopefully have some daily programming there for you all. That's the goal. It may take us over a year to get there, but... Um, we have a lot of good stuff in, in store for you. And if you want to lead a session, like if you if you know you have some valuable expertise or knowledge to give back, and I'm sure every single one of you watching this, no matter where you're at in the process, you and your perspective can help other people who may be um, earlier in the process or may have a slightly different perspective. So I know all of you can add value, but if you would like to help provide value, we'll have a system in place for you to uh, lead sessions in the community space as well. So if you would like to join us, and if you have not already, you can go to devlinpeck.community. The URL is a little weird. Again, it is .community instead of .com, but that's where you can go. You'll immediately be able to sign up and you'll be in the space. You can look at the schedule. You'll see all of the events we have going and um, I'll, I'll, I'll be communicating additional details too. Like we have a, a calendar. You'll be able to sync with your calendar to, to be up to date on all of the events we're doing. So again, a lot of exciting stuff in store. We are at the very beginning right now. I've just been doing these basically one event per week, but that very, very soon over the next two or three weeks is going to ramp up. 
um, and we're going to work our way up to events every single day. So your feedback is going to be really important in um, helping us shape this. Again, we want to make sure it's valuable to you and that and that we're, we're sharing this vision. Like, again, we want the space to work for you all. It's not just like, oh, this is this is what Devlin wants the space to be. This very much is a community space that we all can take some ownership over. Um, as long as we're all being positive, supportive, and helping people along their instructional design journey. So I hope to see you in there. Um, if you're on the mailing list, you will be up to date on all of the live events that we have going on. And I will talk to you all soon.